When is the next leap year and why there are exceptions to the four-year rule? As from today, November 4, 2019, the next leap year will be the year 2020. People often believe they occur every four years, which is quite true, however there are exceptions. Did you know that almost every 100 years a leap year is skipped? In fact, three out of four centuries skip a leap year, which means that sometimes it can take up to eight years instead of four. Let's explain exactly why that is and when these exceptions will take place. First, what defines a year exactly? A year is the time it takes the Earth to finish its cycle around the Sun. In other words, it's the amount of time our planet travels around this giant ball of fire until it returns to its starting point. If we stick with a year that contains 365 days and 24 hours per day, that would add up to a total of 8,760 hours per year. Let's say however, we would grab a stopwatch and take a seat in a comfortable chair. We press, go, and wait for the Earth to travel around the Sun until we are back in the exact same spot. We press, stop, and realize that it took 8,765 hours, 48 minutes and 46 seconds. That's almost a 6-hour difference. In other words, it takes us almost 6 hours longer to finish our cycle than our calendar actually says. After 4 years we almost lost a whole day. That's why we need to compensate in order to keep our calendars on track. Every four years the month of February therefore gets an additional day which makes it 29 instead of 28. Everything seems fine again. The problem is that it's not exactly six hours per year that we lose. In fact, it's five hours, 48 minutes and 46 seconds. Therefore, after four years, it's not exactly 24 hours. If we do the math we can conclude that after 100 years we won an additional day using this exact calculation. That's one day too much. To conclude, after 100 years we got an extra day that we have to get rid of in order to keep our calendars synchronized with the universe. But how do we get rid of it? Well, this one is pretty simple. We just skip one of the leap years every 100 years. We do that whenever a date is precisely dividable by a hundred. This means that in the year 2100 we won't have one, nor will we enjoy one in the years 2200 or 2300. The next question that comes up, is to whether this is precise enough in the long run. Unfortunately it's not. If we live by these calculations we actually, lose, another day every 400 years. We can't simply accept that because after 73,000 years we would have Christmas in the middle of summer. That's why another rule was set into place, every 400 years we skip the 100 year rule and still stick with the leap year. That's why back in the year 2000 we actually had one, even though this year was dividable by 100. We'll also have them in the years 2400, 2800, 3200 and so on. In case you comprehend everything we've been saying, there still is a very tiny deviation. Every 8000 years we would be off by one day. However, for now, that's something we can live with. How the future will unfold remains a question. Who knows every 8000 years a new rule will be applied. And after that we might have to do the same thing at a certain point in time again. For more astrology and numerology insights feel free to visit our website.